on video. You cut dude. me off, you're and I'm reporting you to the police. You okay. got it? The elusive Karen. They live among us. Your mom might be one. Your dad might be one. But I don't think my mom is one and my dad is dead, so I think I'm safe to commentate on this matter. And it seems like more and more Karens are popping up all around the world with every passing minute, taking the Karen oath, vowing to ruin everybody's fun and live the most miserable life they possibly can. And it is my duty to call these Karens out and restore peace to this planet. So today I have gathered some of the craziest Karens that I could track down. True, genuine freakouts, none of this amateur stuff. Y'all are dealing with a professional here. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Keep talking. <laughs> Okay, we're off to a wonderful start already. I think my speaker just exploded. I'm I'm not even joking. Keep talking. Keep talking, you're being paid for. I'm pay I'm paying taxing shit. Are you paying taxes? I'm paying my rent, I pay my student. Why, why are you trying to like Cause me? Because you're, you're a big immigrant. You don't belong here. No, I don't belong. Yes, yeah, so I'm just. You don't belong here. But what's your problem with that? Uh, because you're an immigrant and you were you were born in different countries. But why? I I don't steal nothing. <laughs> I'm in pay. I'm paying taxes. Yeah, you're taking videos. Uh, yeah, I'm paying. Yeah. Why do you think that? This guy is the MVP of the video. No words, no arguing, just removing the Karen from the equation. And how are you like, I don't know, 17, 18? And you already have this much hate boiling inside of you. My god, imagine when this girl turns 60. Just gonna be a walking ball of misery. Oh, Dad. What's your problem? Do you What's your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? Yeah. Yeah, just tell me. What you my oh my, we got quite the loud bunch here. There's not even any words coming out, it's just decibels. And uh, what's going on with this girl's hand here? Somebody have a little accident? A little bit of poopy on the hand? Ran out of toilet paper? Had to improvise? You problem. Take a video, video. You tell me. Yeah, what's your problem? What? I'm, you take a video, I'm paying taxes. Yeah. Take a video, what's your That's problem? Your problem. What's, your problem? Yeah. what's your problem? What's your problem? Okay, so I'm not hating on anybody for being religious whatsoever. What you believe in is what you believe in, and I respect that. But the moment you start trying to force it down people's throat, and expect everybody to live the way you want them to live based off your beliefs, you are crossing an unbelievable amount of lines. If you are too immature to realize that some people don't care about what you believe in whatsoever, you are probably not mature enough to have a driver's license. How does somebody get this angry over some tan pants? Like, are you serious? Condemning somebody to hell because they wanted to wear some leggings? Why are you worried about- Use your hymen word. How much? Are you the mom? Are you the one clapping and clapping for her? Yeah. Hey, yeah. You look so sexy going to hell. Hey, way to go. Aren't you, like, not supposed to judge people? Isn't that a sin in and of itself? Like, why do these people always think they're above everybody else? Like, you are literally committing a sin while berating somebody for apparently committing a sin. You make no sense. Way to go. You, guys to go to church. you don't think you're going to hell for no, judging? Okay. For judging other people? Are you judging my judgment? You yeah, I'm judging your judgment. That's a hypocrite. Oh, really? You're going to cuss with that mouth, huh? Yeah. You probably go to church, yeah. No, I don't go to church. Yeah, you do. So that's why I cuss. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but I just realized that this is probably a sign she carries around in her car. I mean, how angry do you have to be at everybody around you to just have this sign waiting to be used? Like a McDonald's worker gets her order wrong? Oh, you forgot my straw. That's a one-way ticket to hell, baby. Read the sign. Wait, I want to show what I'm wearing. Let's see. I'm such a sinner. <laughs> I'm too exposed. Are you serious? This is what the woman is mad about? It literally looks like she could have just come from church. This is like the definition of modest clothing. I was expecting her to be like half naked. She is fully covered. What does this woman want? I've had enough of your shit and your shit. I'm tired of you hey, people breaking the rules. say no cussing. Please don't cuss me. You can't cuss in the pool area. There's no kids cussing. I've been in the pool this entire time. And also you have to have proper there. swimmer, Ron. Also says you can't be here past 10 o'clock. Get out! 
It says you, have to, you can't be here past 10 o'clock, and I see you and your family up here all the time. Past I manage this pool, and I keep things clean here, and I fix things, and get out! Ladies and gentlemen, soak it all in. It's one of the more rare sightings on this channel, the elusive male Karen. He seems to be protecting his habitat of the community pool from the, from the, uh, from the community. You can't follow your own rules? Get out! I'll wait for the police to escort me out. If, I'm sorry. Because I'd like to talk to them as well for the way that you're treating me. You're being a belligerent little child and I have asked you to leave. You're being a harassing old man. You are harassing me for swimming at the pool. You're violating the rules. So I did a little bit of looking and apparently the rule he is accusing them of breaking is swimming too loudly. I mean, how do you even quantify that? Do you have like a decibel gauge on the side of the pool? If you go above a certain number, you're just instantly banned. So are you. You can't cuss. You have to be wearing proper swimwear. You can't be here past 10 o'clock. Turn that phone off. No. Why? Because you want to disrespect me? You want people You're to know? You're disrespecting me by arguing with me about the rules. You're screaming in we my face. We have rules to follow Sir, around here. you are screaming in my face. Here's a bit of a life lesson. If somebody ever accuses you multiple times of breaking the rules, yet they never go into actually specifying what rule you're breaking, you're not breaking a rule. They just don't want you there. Okay, so before we start this one, I'm gonna be honest. Everyone in this video kind of sucks. They're all being a bit of a Karen in their own ways, but I included this because the main villain Karen you're looking at here has been in four Karen videos across the internet. I'm sure some of you might even recognize her at this point. She's like going for a speed run for most attributed Karen videos. Karen, get your phone now and call the police. Okay, so I'm sure you guys can tell. The guy filming here is walking his dog without a leash and the Karen is getting mad about it. And I gotta say, at least for the premise, I'm on the Karen's side here. I cannot stand when people walk their dogs without a leash. You might think your dog is the sweetest thing ever, but you don't know what it's gonna do. And that's coming from a guy who has two dogs that think they are the sweetest things ever. Animals are unpredictable. And especially in a city like New York, which has pretty strict leash laws, leash your dog, man. I'm just waiting for him to come by. And which country should I go back to, Karen? Huh? Say it. Now you, now you, cat, cat got your oh, tongue? Cat got my tongue? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Edit it out. Go ahead, edit. Edit what out? Come on, puppy! Well, what about, no, Come on! Come on! All right, and this is where I start to lose my support for the Karen. If somebody tried to lead my dog into traffic, I'd have to hit him with the one-two combo. I mean, seriously, this is messed up. Yeah, sure, the guy's in the wrong here, but trying to potentially kill his dog? That's psychotic. Okay, so did y'all catch that Asian descent comment? Yeah, she's not referring to this moment. That's how well known of a Karen this woman is. This random passerby literally recognized her from one of the other Karen videos she's been in. It's crazy. Okay, so once again, really bad methodology, but I mean, she kind of proves a point here. If your dog can be led away like this, it has definitely not been trained to be off a leash. It kind of seems like this guy might just be looking for conflict. Because I can't imagine anybody in New York City likes people who walk their dogs without leashes. Well, that's about all the Karens I can take for one day. I'm slowly building up my tolerance, though. One day I will be immune to Karens. My strength builds. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.
Subscribe.